and welcome to Useless Information TV. In this episode, the Catacombs of Paris. The Paris Catacombs are a popular tourist destination. They house approximately 6 million dead Parisians in an area of roughly 11,000 square metres underneath the city of Paris. The Catacombs are a network of underground tunnels formed naturally from years of quarrying limestone. Prior to 1768, the dead of Paris were to be housed above ground. When a graveyard became full, like that of St Innocent Cemetery, skeletons from earlier burials would be removed from their resting place and the bones stacked in the charnel house. The ground would then be reset for more burials. By 1785, St Innocent Cemetery became a major health hazard to the city. Due to overuse and geological conditions, bodies from the cemetery began to emerge above ground following burial. One account claims that the smell was so bad, people would go out of their way to avoid passing by. So the state ordered the cemetery shut down and the bodies be removed to the catacombs. The removal began in April 1786 and took 15 months to finish, after which the cemetery site became a market. Between 1787 and 1859, 26 other cemeteries in Paris were shut down and the burials were moved to the catacombs. The bones were interlaced together to the point where you cannot tell the final resting place of a particular person. For example, the bones of Madame de Pompadour, chief mistress of King Louis XV, are housed in the catacombs, but are interlaced with other common citizens, a visual reminder that death is the great equaliser. There are many plaques and inscriptions in various languages throughout the catacombs pondering this. Today many visit the catacombs to look at the pillars and walls of bones. But did you know that the catacombs in Paris are not the only ones? Underneath Paris is an entire network of underground tunnels formed by the quarrying of limestone. These are not open to the public and are only visited by professionals. It is really easy to get lost down there and there is a real possibility of being unable to find an exit. So it is recommended you go with a professional who knows the hundreds of kilometres of tunnels and their access points. Over the years, these tunnels and hollows have been used by the Nazis and as the French resistance base during the German occupation of Paris. Some use them to display art. Most recently, people have made bars and hosted cinema screenings. Those who explore the tunnels report of finding random inscriptions in the walls, strange sounds and experiences, forgotten property from a hundred years ago, and unfortunately, the frequent but unexpected appearance of a human skeleton or pile of bones dumped from one of the former cemeteries. A stark reminder of just how dangerous these tunnels can be. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, click that like button. For more, hit that subscribe button. Till next time.